and welcome to the Oscars special of Mean Opinion. My name's Matt. Hello, all right. My name's Dean. That's Dean. A little louder than usual. He's been on holiday, so he's quite relaxed. I'm excitable. very relaxed. Yeah. What have you been doing, Matt, since we've last been on? <laughs> Nothing. Move on. This week, we're going to be looking at the Oscars and uh, just giving our opinion, basically, mm, yeah. on some of the films, some of the people, and some of the things that usually happen every year. First of all, uh, it wouldn't be an Oscars without a host. You need a host for an awards ceremony. Uh, this year is Neil Patrick Harris. Mm, who? What do you mean, who? It's <laughs> Neil Pat MPH. MPH? Yeah. Not MPH. No, N. No, I don't know who that is. No, Neil Patrick Harris, for those that are uninitiated, or uninitiated, for those that speak normally. You're going to put him up. Uh, he's, yeah, it's this guy right here. He's out of that uh, TV show, How I Married Your Mum or something. Mother. Uh, that's the one, yep. How I <laughs> Mother. Uh, well, yep, that's, that was the sequel. <laughs> That'd be a lot better. Uh, so yeah, he's um, a guy that does comedy. I don't know what to expect. Last year they had Billy Crystal. Yeah, is he still going? He's still going. He's Jewish. It, yes. <laughs> I don't know if Neil Patrick Harris is. Is that no. a comparison? Is no, that? No, I don't know. No. I just know that's all I know about. That's Billy your Crystal. fact about Billy Crystal. He's Jewish. There you go. Uh, fact from Dean. Another thing in mm. the Oscars. Everyone's talking about it. The red carpet. Yes. Yeah. It, it's a red carpet that leads in. For those that don't know, mm. red carpet leads into the actual building. Um, that's about it, really. It's a red carpet. They've uh, specially ordered it this year from DFS. <laughs> there was a sale on in January. They made well use yeah. of that bank holiday yeah. sale. Um, Although I don't think DFS make carpets. That's more sofas. Ah, so that's a bit awkward. That's a bad fact. The whole red carpet scenario is just the Oscars. It's just a load of fucking shit. I mean, what? Why do we have to go? They, they get all this money. They get all this like they got yachts and boats and whatever, and then we have to go and watch them. <laughs> have a on good TV. Time. Have a great night out. Win all these awards. Do you know they get bags, don't they? We're like they do with cut jewelry and Fabergé eggs, I believe. Instead of Kinder, I'd be happy with a Kinder egg myself. They should um, donate it to charity or something. What are they doing? Ooh. I think this year they should have a brown carpet. <laughs> What's wrong with brown? <laughs> What's wrong with brown? <laughs> Thank you, speeches. Thank you, speeches. I mean, well, hey, what would you say if you won an award? Um, thanks for this award. Uh, I earned it because I'm awesome. Yes, yeah, but that, that's definitely that. I mean, I definitely wouldn't cry. There was that Hell Barry. Ha Hell Barry? <laughs> Hell Barry? Halle Berry? <laughs> Halle Berry? Yeah. She didn't stop crying, did they? They're, they're a like, weirdo off stage. Come on, love. Off you get. Well, that's the, and when they take too long, if they're blubbing and they're not sponsored by Kleenex, so they can't quickly dap it Money away with some branded tissues, um, they, start, they start the band. The famous kind of, uh, you've got 20 seconds, then get the band playing so we can get them off. And they play the worst music as it is anyway. Yeah, I do, honestly, who, how many people can you thank? Well, uh, yeah. Well, then, have you seen the credits on the latest Hollywood blockbusters? There's like millions of people. They, really? they thank the T boy. They thank the best boy. The best boy who's an electrician. Why do they just call him the electrician? That's what is that all about? The best boy is an electrician. Why don't they have an Oscar for best boy? They probably do. That's it. They have a technical Oscars. Do they really? They do, the day before. Mm, that's when they all rock up to the local Holiday Inn. They don't get a red carpet. <laughs> they get the brown carpet. <laughs> they get the brown carpet. <laughs> what would be your thank you speech? <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, at the Oscars, you can't give awards without having things to award. Mm. Awards. There's some, good, there's some good awards out there. Oh, there's some brilliant the covered awards Covered Best out Boy. There. How about uh, your favourite documentary short subjects? Do you know I love a documentary? I love a short documentary. Well, yeah, to be honest, some they definitely shouldn't give awards to the longest one. <laughs> just the short ones. I've made a 48-hour documentary. Give that man an award. And the big award is the, obviously, best film. And there's some huge... I, I know, you being a big film fan, you've seen a lot of these films. I watch so. a... I, this, hold this, hold on. You've got a subscription to Sky Movies. I watch a lot of movies. You do watch a lot of movies? I... Download them on Sky, yep. and they sit in my playlist. Yep, for months. Just waiting. And then when I finally put them on, I watch Christmas adverts or adverts <laughs> from Easter from last year. Or so, you watch yeah. Forty Seven Ronin and realise why the <laughs> f did I? We did watch together. Is that is that up for an Oscar? Funnily enough, no, no. no. So with the nominees in this. The year, nominees Let's are have a look. Grand Don't Budapest go. Hotel, Wes Anderson, given good film. American Sniper for best use of a fake baby in a film. Uh, Birdman for best use of confusing film in a film is that like Black Swan um, I never saw Black Swan that's a bit weird it's got a bird in it oh, it's got Michael Keaton pretending to be a bird um, Whiplash for best use of drumsticks in a film uh, Selma for best use of racial segregation in a film 
Not a follow-up to Thelma. No, it wasn't. It was Selma by herself. <laughs> it was Thelma's daughter. <laughs> Completely different film. Although still had racism. Thelma and Louise won an Oscar, I bet. Did it? I reckon it did. It had Brad Pitt. I'm assuming. You Check should, it out. Well, Fact up there. Fact or not. Let's play that game. I reckon I'm right. Put the odds on. Uh, another film up for best film is The Imitation Game for best use of cryptography in a plot line. There you go. There's some big words for you. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, second but not last is Boyhood for best use of boys. Is that about the best boy? Uh, it should be. And then finally, The Theory of Everything for the best use of Stephen Hawkins in a film. Yeah, I mean, The Theory of Everything. I mean, even people that are intelligent said that's a pile of shit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> those awarding awards who keep giving it awards. All right, let's talk about the Oscars then. Right. All right. Best films of the past. Go on, name five. Name five. Um, let's see. Herbie Goes Bananas. That never won. Um... What else we've got? Wayne's World. That never won. Wayne's World 2. That never won. Uh, the Guru. Don't know what that is. It's another Mike Myers film. Oh, right. It's not good. that good. No. No. Um, how about The Matrix? That was quite a good They film. might have won Best uh, Effects or something, but best I bet it never won film. film. Plot. And uh, a personal favourite of mine, Cannibal Holocaust. Didn't that never won. That no, never won. So my point work. being is whatever they say is the best film is a load of shit, apart from the odd few. Probably... Did one fly the cuckoo's nest win? Probably. Yeah, and that's a good film. Well, uh, Godfather. Probably. Okay, so other than that, Forrest Gump. <laughs> Probably. Well, yeah. But uh, generally <laughs> speaking, what <laughs> I'm saying is your point. What? <laughs> no, I'm proving my point. And what I'm trying to say is that there's very few films that you actually remember anyway. Uh, let alone ones that should be awarded anything. I mean, the last film I watched was. Interlude. Oh, uh, Kingsman. Oh, The Kingsman. I've yeah. never heard of that either. It's, it's yeah. quite a good film. We'll get an Oscar. You can't beat The King when he's round the back, eh, <laughs> You can't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, my point being is that there's a few films that we all know are good, but I don't, they don't need to get an Oscar, and the Oscars is just an excuse for a load of f***ing people with loads of money to go and waste more money, blow smoke up their own ass, cry about winning awards, thank their f***ing whatever. Load of shit. That said, if you want to give us an award for the greatest YouTube TV show ever created that's from England... In a shed in... <laughs> in a secret <laughs> location <laughs> we'll take it and the award for the best short film goes to Dean we could, I could probably fit an award in there we could have done with an Oscar for this it does we look like I was about to do something else it looks a bit weird and that's <laughs> what happens in the after parties <laughs>